Hi everybody, it's Christmas Eve. The day is nearly here and we're looking forward to celebrating the birth of Jesus tomorrow. Uh, don't forget tonight there is a Hoppa 6 service for those of you who might not be able to make it on Christmas morning. And the Christmas morning service is going to be from Hoppa 7 to Hoppa 9 and it's going to be a, a walkthrough service because we just can't fit 300 people into the church under present restrictions. You know, grace uh, is such a beautiful word. And Craig Gainsford was mentioning it the other day in his, in his video. One of the most beautiful books that I have read and that left a very deep impression upon me was Lamer's Robbles. You know, as we know, they made this major musical play and movie um, out of the story and the story just tells and the film and the movie just tell a, a little bit of the story from the beginning the story itself goes on for a lot longer than that but it's this amazing story about this very poor man called Jean Vanier and in his hunger and his and his uh, care for his family he steals a loaf of bread and he's sent to jail and of course he is he escapes from jail, and so he becomes a more serious criminal, and the law is after him. In his escape from jail, he makes his way to the house of a bishop, and the bishop sees him, talks with him, and then invites him in for a meal. And he sets the table, he puts out all the silverware with the candlesticks and the knives and forks and so on, and he treats him to a lovely meal. And then afterwards he says, why don't you sleep here for the night? And he gives him a bed in the front room of the house, actually very near to where they had been eating. And in the dead of night, when everything's quiet, Jean Vanier, remembering where all the silverware had been placed, um, opened the drawers and took out all the silverware belonging to the bishop and the stowed it in his bag and made his way out of the front door and he was on his way. About a half an hour to an hour later there was a knock on the bishop's door and the bishop went sleepily to the door and there at the door were a couple of policemen holding Jean Venier and saying this man that you entertained last night has stolen all your silverware. And the bishop looks at Jean Vanier and he looks at the policeman and he says to them, no, he didn't steal them. I gave them to him. Well, what could the policeman do? They had to let Jean Vanier go. And the bishop welcomed him into his home again. Now that is what we call even though love. Even though Jean Vanier had abused the love and the hospitality of the bishop and by stealing his silverware, even though the bishop still had compassion on him and welcomed him back into his home. That even though love is what we call grace. And it's the love that we see in Jesus. We see the incredible love that he had for his disciples, that even though they were so dumb sometimes, and even though they let him down so often, and they couldn't get the point, and <laughs> they didn't believe in the way that he wanted, even though he still loved them. If you think of Peter, who said, I don't even know Jesus. What are you talking about? When he was at the fire outside um, the high priest's house, when Jesus was on trial. Even though Peter did that, Jesus went and forgave him. We see Judas, who had planned to betray Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. At the Last Supper, Jesus offers him his blood and his body in the wine and the bread. Even though he knew what Judas was up to, he still loved him. And here, as we stand on the, um, the brink of Christmas, we remember that God so loved the world, even though we have made so many messes, even though we have spoiled so much that he intended for good, even though God loved the world so much that he gave us 
his only son. And that's what we celebrate tomorrow with the birth of this baby, Jesus. And so, as we seek to be followers of Jesus, the call upon us is to have that even though love, that grace. Those who have rejected us, those who have hurt us, even though we will wish them good, we will want the best for them. Even though someone has ignored us or been cold in their hearts towards our need, even though we can still be concerned for them and still love them, even though we've been neglected by people, perhaps forgotten by them, even though we can still love. Not in our own weakness, but we need to dig deeper within to the love that God has placed in our hearts, in a, enabling us to be able to overcome our resentment with caring and forgiveness and mercy and grace. So as we go into Christmas Day, may God help us to love, even though remembering his great love, for he loved us first. May God bless you. Be very careful of your health as we go into these next few days when there's going to be so much mingling and meeting. But in the midst of it all, may you know the loving presence and the wonder of God at this Christmas time. Bye for now.